guys, it's Lyra here, and welcome to my room! Today, we're going to be doing another makeup look thing that I got from Pinterest. Now, if you're a fan of Harry Potter, then we could be best friends because I love Harry Potter. I've actually been meaning to uh, re-watch the, the, the whole... I was going to say series, but it's not a TV series. But, like, what do you call a series of movies? Is this a little series? Anyway, I was, I've been meaning to watch or have a, a whole Harry Potter marathon, but I haven't had the chance lately. But in the meantime, here I am doing a Harry Potter inspired makeup look that I found on Pinterest. It's Slytherin themed. Now, you know, I ain't the biggest fan of Slytherin because they always try to play too many games. You know, they always, they do it too much. You know, they always trying to be evil or whatever. But this look, I saw it and I could not not do it. So today we are going to be making a snake go on our face and we're going to be making it look poppin' as much as we can. Um, so I'm looking at this uh, reference photo and I'll link it down below so that you can see what I got the look from, like where I got the look from, does that make sense? Um, and it started off with some orangey colors, now I know, you're like, wait, orange, isn't that more like a Gryffindor's alley, you know? with the gold and the red like I guess orange would go more there but listen the orange is just like a, a balancing color I don't know listen she had orange on her eyelids and I was like all right whatever you say boo boo I don't know it wasn't a tutorial it was just a picture so I just I just did what I saw I don't got no explanation for you but we started off with some orange we're using the celestial thunder um palette by Dominique Cosmetics to get that brown color that we're using. It's called Zero Gravity. The orange color was by the Essentials palette, the Pro Series by Violet Voss? Violet Voss? Yeah, Violet, Violet Voss Cosmetics. It's the terracotta color. Um, so now I'm trying to put in some some darker colors on the, on the outside, some of that black. Uh, and it doesn't look that prominent yet, but don't worry, we build it up later. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Can you tell that I've been, I've been on just TikTok and everywhere? <laughs> I've just been everywhere. Anyway, so we're going to put some of that black, which looks more brown than black on the outside. And then I tried to use this like gray color on the bottom because... A lot of her eyelids was like a lot of greens and, and grays and blues even. And I was like, I don't know if I have all those colors, you know, not yet. I just started my makeup collection, you know, I'm still a newbie to makeup. So like, I don't got all them colors. So what happens when you don't have the colors that somebody else does is you got to get creative and just do what you can with what you got. And now here we go, we're going to get this Il Maquillage uh, Concealer and uh, try to cut that crease. Now listen, don't come for me because I don't know how to cut a crease. I did what I could, I did what I thought I, I was, what I thought was right. Um, so <laughs> you can see me hesitating throughout this whole thing because your girl, this is the first time she's cutting any crease at all. So. I mean, I think I did a decent job at the end of this, um, but like, I don't, listen, you're gonna see me tilting my head up like this, like all the way so high, and I don't know why, it's like, I thought that the, the, the concealer was gonna drip or something, like, I don't really, I'm not sure what I expected from it, um, and if, please ignore any background sounds that you hear because my, uh, my neighbors always vacuum their wooden floors for some reason. Do y'all vacuum your wooden floors? Listen, I don't think you need to vacuum your wooden floors every day. How dirty are you? Like, how dusty are you? Like, I vacuum my wooden floors once every week, if that. I mostly vacuum my rugs, my carpet. That happens, like every other day because they collect a lot of dust but like with wooden floors bro i don't think you need to vacuum your floors but they do it every single day without fail every single day i hope you know i hope they don't know who i am or ever discover this video of me complaining but you know what maybe they will maybe they will learn that they don't have to freaking vacuum their wooden floors every day at, at, at the same time every day uh anyway 
that's my rant. Okay, so just sweep. Anyway, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I digress. I digress. Okay, so we cut the crease and now we have laid the canvas to add our pops up color. This is where we add the greens. Um, we use, we're using the 351 palette by Pony and Morphe, their little uh, pastel palette that they did, the collaboration that they did. Um, and so we're putting in that that pastel green in the in the in the inner corners. I was gonna, I said the front. I was gonna say the front, the center. Like I didn't know what I was trying to say, but the inner corners, not even the inner corners, the front of the eyelid. You know what I'm talking about? Like not that the back end, but like the front end. Does that make sense? I don't know terminologies. Anyway, so we put it there where you saw it. <laughs> That's the best that I can give you. We put it there where you saw it. And oh, you gotta make sure that you put it on the bottom. Now, something that I've learned from using eyeshadow is you can't just put everything on the top eyelid. You gotta balance it out with the bottom eyelid. No matter how weird you think it might look, trust me, it balances it out because if not, your, your top eyelids are gonna look mad heavy. They're gonna be taking on the weight of all that makeup and so the bottom of your eyelids are gonna look empty and kind of weird. It's gonna look very unbalanced. So make sure that you balance it out and you put that Put whatever you put on top put it on the bottom um now i'm not saying like every single color like i usually do like the lighter color on the bottom front <laughs> i hope you guys understand where i'm what i mean by front um, the bottom front of the eyelid and then the darker colors that are on the outer skirts of the eyelid of the top i put it on the bottom also you know just kind of balance it out a little bit You'll see what I'm talking about here. Here I'm trying to darken it up with some of that black from the Essentials palette. Um, and then you'll see me put it on the bottom, bottom outer corner. Is that the way you say it? Uh, yeah, yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> um, so there you go. You can see that on the bottom outer corner. You can see that I put a little bit of that black on the bottom, you know, a little bit just to balance it out. And then I think later on I balance it out even more like I just stretch it out a little a little more because like the middle was kind of empty do you see what I mean the middle is just kind of empty there but I think um oh I think I take the orange and put that there oh no no so the orange was like weirdly spread out on the bottom of her eyelid and I didn't really know what the purpose of having that orange there was for I don't know if it was like a mistake so I just kind of like dusted a little bit there but I didn't commit to it because I didn't know what the purpose was and I didn't feel like messing everything up but putting it the wrong way like I don't really know so I'm taking my star looks eyeliner um, I love this eyeliner I love it so much it works like a beauty and it has a stamp on the other side I have one that has a star stamp and one that has a heart stamp and I don't even use them that often but like I think I should I should start just using them more often because they're so cute I love this eyeliner so much and it's pretty much my go-to at this point because all the other all the all the all the oxen free um all the other eyeliners that I've had just don't compare to it you know um oh this is me trying to see if how like if it makes a difference um with eyeliner without eyeliner eyeliner because I feel like since the outer corner was black it kind of blends in but it does give it a little bit of a oomph when you put the eyeliner so I was like yeah, yeah whatever I'm gonna follow the the photo do my best you know that's all you can do now in terms of like what kind of eyeliner shape to do I just did my eyeliner how I usually do my eyeliner um I've noticed that with a lot of makeup looks just doing it the way that I usually do it works unless it's like let's say if you're trying to do like uh, like a Halloween type cat face kind of thing you know then you might do your eyeliner a little longer on the outside you might bring it in more on the inner corners you know so unless it's like a distinct eyeliner look then just doing it regularly usually works for me um, so here I am listen remember last video where um, if you haven't checked that out then uh, go click on this click on that video after you watch this one um, where we did the Sailor Moon look and I just kind of curled my eyelashes by looking by using my fingers um, yeah this is me trying to use the curler on this Tristique mascara and I don't know if I'm using it right don't come for me don't come for me okay don't come for me 
I don't know if I'm using it right. I don't know if it made a difference, but hey, whatever. Honestly, I do want a different mascara. I've been putting it off just because, just in case I get one in the BoxyCharm subscription, I'm hoping that at some point that I, at some point I do. Does that make sense? That, was that a good sentence? I don't know. I'm hoping at some point that I do. That sounds weird. You know when you repeat yourself uh, a few times and then it kind of stops making sense to you? It doesn't sound right. Um, anyway, so I'm just hoping that I get one soon. Um, but I've been dealing with this one so far and it's kind of like, it's a, it's a hit or miss for me just because sometimes it clumps up my eyelashes too much where like they're too separate but in like weird clumps. And then sometimes it comes out good, like on this eyelashes, <laughs> on the on this eye, on these eyelashes, they're more like uh, separated but like not in clumps. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. You know, they're they're not clumpy. Uh, but a lot of the times, this eyeliner, uh, not eyeliner. I've been saying, <laughs> I hope I've been saying mascara and not eyeliner this whole time. Um, this mascara tends to clump up my eyelashes and makes them look kind of just weirdly clumped together and weirdly separated uh so i i need to get a new one but uh okay listen this is another thing that i'm just gonna tell you right off the bat don't come for me because i don't know how to contour i don't know um I'm very new to contouring i'm very new to makeup in general so don't come at me all I, what I usually do is just eyeliner, mascara, my eyebrows, and then like a little bit of like lipstick or something, maybe a little lip gloss. And that's the extent of my everyday makeup. That's it. Oh, foundation, obviously, foundation and concealer. But that's it. That's all I do. And so here I am trying to do contour, but honestly, can you even see it? Nope. You can't see it. I thought I saw something, but <laughs> clearly. The contour was not there. So, um, <clears throat> that's something we're gonna work on. It's okay. That's something we'll work on. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. Eventually, we'll go and contour like a pro, okay? Practice makes perfect. And so, here we go. We're gonna further define them cheekbones with the blush. And now, I don't pack it on as much as I should here, just because blush always scares me. You know? Because you ever seen those people who don't know how to do makeup and they put mad blush and so they look crazy see i'm afraid of looking crazy that's all it is i'm just so scared that i'm gonna look crazy like one of those people like like a clown you know i don't want to look like a clown. i don't like clowns i really don't like clowns and so i don't want to be looking like one you know so I, I shy away from the blush but later on i do add more after i put on the not put on but after i draw the snake on my face yo we haven't even gotten to like the main event yet this is all like just prep work son you don't even know yet son anyway but yeah i do go back and i do um add more blush to further define them cheekbones because they're like it's kind of like a like an evil look and usually <laughs> the villains tend to have strong cheekbones have you noticed they're like very angular um i don't know why that is but it is what it is um Oh, and so the this I'm putting on some highlighter. I'm using the Manny Moi Morphe. The Manny Moi is it Manny Moi? Is the Morphe and Manny Moi? Yeah, Morphe and Manny Moi palette thing. <laughs> I'm so so professional. It's the Glam palette by Morphe and Manny Moi. Yeah, they have two highlighters there, so I was using that to highlight my cheekbones, my eyebrow bones my brow bone my nose my chin i don't usually highlight my chin i just kind of did it i don't know i don't usually do it and so here we go now we're starting the snake um so i didn't realize that i had black face paint um so um i didn't realize that until after i finished the entire video uh and then i was sad but I did this whole thing with eyeshadow. So if you don't have black, um, black face paint or any side, any uh, color face paint, then you can do it with with just eyeshadow. Don't worry about it. You know, don't worry about it, sweetheart. I got you. 
and so I did start coloring it in um, like this but then what I realized was it was kind of blending into my skin a lot and while you normally would be like yes honey this blendable eyeshadow dough we needed it to be real prominent uh, for this look and so I tried switching brushes thinking like maybe I needed a brush that can hold more eyeshadow at a time but what I realized was not nah, it's not gonna work that way so I got my concealer back out and since concealer is normally two shades or a shade or two lighter than your regular skin color I was like I can use this to cut the crease again except it's not cutting the crease it's cutting out this shape and filling it in and brightening it up so that the colors pop more and so I did that I filled out the whole snake with my concealer and then I went back in and I added the eyeshadow right on top. Now I will say that this concealer is w really bright, like it's really light for me. Luckily I did get a new one from um, uh, BoxyCharm. They get me the, it's the famous one, hold on, let me see, let me pull it out. It's the Born This Way, the Too Faced Born This Way Sculpting Multi-Purpose, well, Multi-Purpose Flower. <laughs> multi-use sculpting concealer super coverage it's so bomb and it's perfect for my skin color my skin color it's perfect this one is way too light for me but the good thing is that the il maquillage one is like i can use it for these kind of things to brighten up you know uh figures that i draw on my face or whatever you know i can use it as a good base or like a good crease cutter kind of thing and so here we go there you go. Now it's all popping. You see? Ooh! And this is when I noticed that this color was such a good choice because, oop! You see my face like, oop! <laughs> um, because it like shines, it shimmers, you know? It does like a nice little glossy kind of satin kind of look, especially over the curves of my nose, you know? So it looks really cool. It looks like skin, like uh, snake skin. And so, here, I could have probably used the concealer again to make like a small little dot for the eye, but I didn't do it for some reason, I'm not sure. Um, but I went in with a yellow um, color, a yellow or gold, I don't, I don't remember, it was either yellow or gold, and I put it for the eye, um, and then I went back over it with the black from the Essentials palette, and I tried to outline it and then put the little the pupil yeah that's what it's called the pupil the snake's pupil mm -hmm. and so it's a little dark I tried going back in and putting more gold on it but when you're messing with eyeshadow it kind of it blends it does what it's supposed to do it blends and so it's a little tough um, to really define that eye but if you have face paint then you know just feel free to use it or even eyeliner would work so um, I didn't use eyeliner this time around, just, uh, I don't know, I was scared, I was scared that I would mess it up, <laughs> you know, but um, here I put the scales on the snake, and what I really did was just some diamond shapes, and I varied it up so that um, it didn't look like a, like a structured pattern, because I feel like scales are a little more variable, they're not just like clear-cut diamond shapes so I did different sizes different kind of uh, placement of the joint of the diamonds and it looks scaly <laughs> you know and so for the the picture that I was looking at there were blues and greens and golds that were all up in that snake's uh, skin and so here I am adding some some gold adding some not gold I'm adding some uh some blue first and then I'll go in with the gold after um, and then I wanted to fix my eyeshadow um, because I noticed that one side was uh, coming down further than the other side so I'm just balancing it out you know don't be afraid to go back and fix your stuff because if you gotta fix it it's better to fix it now before you walk out the door now I'm not saying that you're gonna walk out the door with a snake on your face but if you wanted to do you boo boo but make sure everything's balanced you know and so i'm making sure that everything's balanced um the because i was really sleepy today i mean it was just it was a very sleepy day 
Um, so I was kind of messing up a little, but we all have those days. It's all right. You just got to go back, you balance it out, and then we all Gucci. So that's what you see me doing right here. Um, and so there are a lot of like intricacies with the snake um like these golden specks that you're gonna see me do i'm using the ColourPop golden shimmer eyeliner i don't remember the exact uh, name of it but i know it's color pop i know it's golden and it's shimmery and glittery um, and i use that to put these little specks around the snake and so you'll see that sometimes there'll be more specks in some areas and then other times it'll be like less specks um just varying it up you know, giving always have that variability because it makes it seem less structured and more lifelike. Even though the you know the concept of having a snake on your face is not really lifelike, but um, besides the point, that's besides the point. You know what I'm saying? It makes it look better. Variability and diversity makes it look better. And so here I am filling in my eyebrows because with this look uh you gotta make sure the eyebrows are dark um otherwise they kind of fade you know they look a little faded so just make sure they make them strong don't be afraid to make them strong that's what i realized with this one um and so i'm going back with the manny Wa morphe palette uh with that uh what's it called highlighter and i'm highlighting the outside of the outline of the snake so that it pops out more it makes it look a little more 3d in a way um not like there's a little snake on my face but you know it makes it look like it's kind of popping out of my skin a little more so that's that's a little scary huh this is not even halloween yet it's a little scary <laughs> but uh but it looks good it looks so good and then it kind of makes the golden specks look like they're glowing too so that's really cool um, and then that's where I go back and I fix my blush. I make it a little more uh, prominent. And you can see that the blush color matches that orange color that we had in our eyeshadow earlier. So that's good, you know. You bringing it full circle or whatever, making it cute or whatever, um, and making that the cheekbones pop. And so I used this purple lipstick, lip gloss, liquid lipstick. Um, I believe it's a NYX color uh, and I used that as a base and then I went back in with the black eyeshadow to make kind of like a gradient look um, and so now disclaimer let me tell you right now okay I used my eyeshadow because I don't have black lipstick but don't do don't use that brush on your eyes afterwards if you use eyeshadow brushes for your lips make sure to wash them right after um don't use them on your eyes because that's nasty because <laughs> then you're gonna have your lip germs on your eyes and that's not good you get sick like that okay so don't do that make sure to wash your brushes immediately after using them on your lips anyway so here's the final look guys make sure to hit that like button hit that subscribe button ring that notification bell if you want to see more and be notified when i upload again and i will see you guys next time but before i go actually <laughs> while i'm breaking my nail um <laughs> i stream every friday and saturday on twitch so if you want to come hang out and check out me playing some games maybe play along with me then by all means come and hang out the links will be in the description down below i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye